What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. As you can see from the title of this video, I do want to give my commentary on an Instagram Live that Wanda did tonight. Um, she actually was at the Birmingham airport where she was picking up her man friend. Uh, <laughs> I guess he was in Paris. I don't know if it was like a Paris, Texas or Paris, France, or he was in Germany, somewhere abroad, but she was picking him up allegedly. He did show himself as you can see. So I wanted to share that with you all. She was picking him up from the airport and then they were going out to dinner. And there were some things that transpired in the chat that she was verbally responding to that I thought was interesting. So I wanted to share that with you all. Now, before I do, I ask that you all please hit the like button on this video. Even if you were to hit the dislike button, either one of those work the same, meaning that YouTube will recommend this video to more people who enjoy discussing love and marriage Huntsville and all of the topics that come about it. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit. I would definitely love to have you. And everything that I'm saying in this video is alleged and my opinion. And the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary um, on this Instagram Live is allowed for criticism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my summary and commentary first, and then I'll play the IG Live because a lot of it is Wanda reading the comments in her live chat and responding. So um, she is driving to the airport. Then she arrives. He starts putting his items in the back seat. And then, you know, she exits the vehicle and goes in and they're chit chatting, I'm guessing, while he's grabbing more of his items. And there are people asking Wanda, you know, is it true that Tisha and Melody had some sort of confrontation in the Virgin Islands? And you know, Wanda's like, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. You know that Ish got to air first. So, you know, earlier this morning when I made the video about Stormy's Instagram post, I'm just not convinced that it was Melody that was getting, uh, you know, getting to Stormy, getting underneath her skin about the struggles with her business. The way things left off with the um, season six reunion and the things that Tisha was saying to Stormy at the reunion about allegedly popping P-I-L-L-S and struggling to pay vendors, allegedly, I just have a feeling that that same tension was taken to the island. And I'm guessing that it was Tisha that was going at Stormy about her business. And then Stormy kind of deflected and transferred the energy that she should have had for Tisha onto the millimeters via her IG post. So, um, of course, I'm not in the Virgin Islands. I did not witness any of the filming for season seven. But I'm just really convinced that it was Tisha that got to Stormy and Stormy somehow is trying to blame the millimeters. That's what I think. That is my prediction. And so people were in the chat just assuming that Melody would engage in negativity. So they were asking Wanda, did Tisha and Melody have some sort of confrontation? Now, um, what I will say is that I do think that Stormy was probably hoping to get Melody to engage. And I think, you know, Melody, because she even made an IG post saying, you know, she just kind of chills in silence, you know, especially when there's drama popping off. So that's why I'm really led to believe that it was really Tisha and Stormy who got into it during the trip. And then, you know, we see uh, Wanda's friend. She did not want him to come on camera because she said that someone was going to capture the image. And she said that that's what they want. That's what they want. So I guess this is her friend. And so like, is this her boyfriend or her husband? Does anybody know? Or was that a joke when she would talk about having a husband and a, a boyfriend and having a husband on the side? Like the joke from one of the Friday sequels 
where he goes, oh man, come on, man, please don't pow pow me, man. I got a girlfriend and a wife on the side, man. So like, is that Wanda's joke when she says she has, you know, the boyfriend and the husband who's kind of like on the side, you know, or is this one of her booze? Like, you know, what's the relationship status? But um, this is him. And she was trying not to show him. She did say that he's the type, kind of like a ham. He would want to be in front of the camera. So he revealed himself. And she did her makeup. I thought she looked pretty. People were telling her she looked pretty. She was definitely getting dolled up for her man, her man, her man. And then she had, you know, her glasses, which are really funny to me. That's why I captured that image as well. But they are, I guess they're at the restaurant by now. But so now I will go ahead and play the IG live. And again, you all already have the heads up that she was mainly responding to people's questions and comments in the chat. She's also going to talk trash about the bloggers um, Black Titanic and Pinky the Housewife. I don't know why. Like that was so unwarranted. She's going to be talking about her trips abroad. And then she's going to bring them into it to kind of like a, make a mean joke that really was unnecessary. All right. And of course, again, the Copyright Act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary on this IG Live is allowed for criticism. And here we go. Sometimes when I get up on the turn, it used to go off, out, I mean, go out. But you don't know where it didn't go out. Okay, cell phone, waiting a lot. Okay. I'm trying to see if I just pull it over, because y'all know in New York and everywhere, you just can't pull it over. You got that, oof. They just real heavy over there with this. They part in the spot. So let's see if I just like to pull over behind the police. Let me see. You can't just leave your car unattended. No parking. Okay, stop. Okay, I'm gonna bring y'all back over. Really? 
period going on. And I'm not talking about, um, I ain't gonna sit there. Y'all think I'm talking about something else, but I'm not talking about that. So I'm just gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Kiss Mary John. Okay. Um, there's Kiki. Who is Kiki? Kiki on my page too? And my little niece on my page. <laughs> You know who I am, Wanda. Wait a minute. Girl, y'all gotta tell me, tell me y'all real name. I don't be knowing nothing about all these names. Why did Tisha try to fight Mella on the girl trip? Uh -huh, so I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. I do not know nothing about that. Kiki is not in here. Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all so messy. Ooh, ooh, y'all just want me to talk about the whole thing, don't you? <laughs> y'all know y'all got to wait till that shit air. You are very pretty. Tisha get it from her mama. Oh, well, yes, thank you. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, please, here we go with the bush. <laughs> oh, Lord, there goes somebody. That over here in my page ain't got no business over here. What's going on with you guys? Why y'all can't go a day with that talking about miss? But since you want to talk about it, we'll talk about it tomorrow because today is not the day. Mm -mm. It is not today. Um, I need to go back around. Can I park here? Uh, Yes, they both are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Butterfly. And Kissy Marie. Is it Kissy Marie? Thank you. You look pretty. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Not to, um, not to Arion. Arion, I'm an ugly woman. I'm like, okay. I'm so glad everybody got their own mirror. They, all <laughs> they can see for themselves. Woo, woo. I ain't even ugly in my heart, so I know I ain't ugly on the outside. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot about that girl boutique was today going on tonight. Dog it. And it's supposed to be from 12 to 5, I think. Oh, my. Yeah, and they had a bur um, boutique in Atlanta, too. Well, I could have made that one. I should have went to Atlanta and picked my friend up, and then I would have been all ready. Then I could have made it to her little thing. Like these earrings. I need some purple one. Girl, y'all know purple is my color. Y'all already know. I love that demon jacket. Love it. Thank you. Who's Arion? Oh, girl, I know you don't watch the show. <laughs> Ooh. You're just a friend of Wanda. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Yes, you're just a friend of Wanda. I see that. Yes, because you don't watch the show, baby. I know I got some good people over here. Uh, you just a friend. You just love Miss Wanda, okay? She said, who was Ariel? I know that's right. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I wish you didn't stay in time about what you didn't say anything about her. Then so like, I want you to do it anyway. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all, I got some good information today. Ooh, ooh. I got some good information today, y'all. My girl called me. And she gave me some good information. And my son just want to say thank you. Thank you, in my opinion. Thank you. You're such a sweetheart. Yes. She gave me some good-ass information today. Okay, y'all, let me go back around. Let me go back around. Man, it's back over here, too, y'all. Oh, look how long it took me to go back around to this spot. They better be 
here now. What time is y'all? Damn, it's just seven forty-seven. Six fifty-seven. Let me see if I see a plane landing. Seven oh one. I know what I'm gonna do. Damn, I miss it again. Then I'm gonna go back around, get out, and walk across here. That's what I'm gonna do. How about that? Then I. Yeah. 
y'all better go get it. Y'all better go. Y'all better jump over there and get it. I show love, Miss Wanda. Y'all go on over on that website. Everything y'all. It took a few pauses, probably like her phone rang or she got a text message. It's going to happen like another time or two. I, my YouTube channel and it Just go over to show no one and get y'all some seasoning, baby. Because I'm going to tell y'all. Yeah, 
his stuff got left in Paris. You got to wait till you get here. Y'all hear me? 
here before. If y'all hear about it before, I talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it tomorrow at four o'clock. If y'all hear before, if y'all hear about it before, I talk about it. Okay. I came to save my baby. What baby? Why would I come to save her? Y'all better look at the y'all better look at this tape from the beginning to the end, because Evelyn didn't y'all not look at that. Y'all just talking. Look at it from the beginning to the end.
But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get ready to go. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye. He wants y'all to see him. He loves he to be on the he on, um, on the screen. Okay, let me know. So there you go. So Wanda is saying that she's going to go live on her YouTube channel Sunday, March 24th at about 4 or 4.30 p.m., I assume, Central Time. Um, there is a person who's like a, a subscriber to various channels in the Black tea sector, you know, Black celebrity tea sector. And so it sounds like they may have contacted Wanda with some information on some people. I assume some bloggers. I assume that's what Wanda will be talking about on her YouTube channel tomorrow. If she does, in fact, go live, of course, I will bring you all a summary of her live and what she will be talking about. So um, I'm not really sure what she's going um, in that direction with this quote unquote information. You know, I just wish we all could just enjoy each other virtually within our comfort zones without there always being this um, notion to expose. I think that, you know, like with the Scott's family, what they don't understand about them being on a reality TV show and being public figures is that what is normal and common is for bloggers to report about the cast of reality TV show. Even if you look at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, when Kim Fields was on season eight, what came out that season? That allegedly she um, had tax liens. And then there was the rumor that her now, I believe now they're ex-spouses, you know, he, that he may have been a part of the LGBTQ community, allegedly. That was what Kenya said, according to Kenya. And then, you know, the tax liens were brought out. That happens with reality TV stars because you're public figures. We live in a very uh, technical, advanced society. It's so easy to Google. So this is normal for bloggers to report about the Scots being that they are on a reality TV show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. What is more leaning towards uncommon and a little abnormal is for the reality TV stars to research and Google and get information on the bloggers. That is what is a little on the uncommon side. But that is something that they have yet to learn and accept, obviously. So we'll have to see uh, what uh, Wanda will be talking about when she goes live again. And um, yeah, she, you know, her gentleman friend, he showed himself, if you will. And uh, there he is. And yeah, I guess they are at the restaurant right now. She said she wasn't going out on a date, but I think that's what it was, right? All right. So um, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate the support. Please hit the like button on this video. It is a free way of supporting the channel. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.